University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. The first round of this year's competition continues tonight with two universities and teams of similar age. Many of this evening's contestants represent the 57% of UK students who are taking a first or additional degree later in life, whether full-time or around a day job. Tonight's winners will progress to round two, while the losers will face a long wait to see if their score will qualify them for the first round repechage. The Open University was first proposed in 1966 in a white paper by Jenny Lee, which argued that a distance learning university could help promote social mobility. Originally based at the BBC studios at Alexandra Palace, it now has its headquarters at Milton Keynes and students based in over 150 countries. Notable graduates include the singer-songwriter Joan Armatrading, the performer Seleni Henry and the epidemiologist Sir Chris Whitty, representing over 175,000 students with an average age of 31. Let's meet the Open University's team. Hi, I'm Dan Twig from Layerford, Lincolnshire, and I'm studying chemistry. Hi, I'm Freddie Miles. I'm from Edinburgh, and I'm studying economics. This is their captain. Hi, I'm James McGregor. I'm from Liverpool, and I'm studying history. Hi, I'm Jess Baker from Canterbury in Kent, and I'm studying social psychology. Now, Newcastle University has its roots in a pair of colleges that were originally part of Durham University, one a college of medicine, the other a college of physical sciences, established to meet the needs of the region's growing mining community. The two merged in the 1930s and broke away from Durham in 1963. Alumni since include the journalist Kate Aidy, the Paralympian Susie Rogers, and the architect and television presenter George Clark, representing around 28,000 students and with an average age of 32. Let's meet this year's team from Newcastle. Hello, my name is John Ingham. I'm originally from Guildford and I'm studying for a PhD in control theory for brain modelling and analysis. Hi, my name is Tom Speller. I'm originally from Putney in London and I'm studying medicine. This is their captain. Hi, I'm Sam Key. I'm from Bedford and I'm reading linguistics with Japanese. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Lam. I'm from Morpeth in Northumberland and I'm reading for a master's in film theory and practice. OK, the rules are unchanged and unchangeable. Ten points for starter questions. Bonuses are worth 15, their team efforts. Fingers on the buzzer. Here's your first starter for ten. Quote, where observation is concerned, chance favours only the prepared mind. This statement was made in a speech of 1854 by which French pioneer of medical microbiology who developed vaccines against rabies and anthrax? Newcastle Speller. Louis Pasteur. Correct. <laughs> you get the first set of bonuses. They're on music inspired by the sea. The Sea and the Seagulls is a name given to a series of piano etudes by which Russian composer born in 1873? Rimsky-Korsakov, probably. Uh, Rimsky-Korsakov. No, Rimsky-Korsakov was earlier. Uh, he was born in 1844. It's Sergei Rachmaninoff. From 1909, which French composer wrote the series of solo piano preludes that includes the sunken cathedral? Do we know? Debussy. Uh, Debussy. Debussy is correct. Also dating to the early 1900s, which British composer's Symphony No. 1 has the by name a sea symphony? Uh, that's Vaughan Williams. Huh? Vaughan Williams. Vaughan Williams. Vaughan Williams is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. To what vernacular epic? was Seamus Heaney referring when he said, first-time readers very quickly rediscover the meaning of the term the Dark Ages. Open miles. Beowulf? Beowulf is correct, yes. <laughs> Here's a set of bonuses on Nobel laureates born in South Africa. Sidney Brenner shared the 2002 Nobel Prize in Medicine for discoveries concerning programmed cell death. This mechanism is often expressed by what single word term from the Greek for falling off? Cell death, guys. I think. Yeah. Something like apoptosis or something like that. Apos. Not nominate twig. Apostiosis? No, it's apoptosis. I'm lucky. Alan McLeod Cormack shared the Nobel Prize in 1979 for his work on the diagnostic technique known as CT, 
For what did these letters stand? Computerised tomography. Nominate Baker. Computerised tomography. Or computer tomography is correct, Hold yes. On. Max Thyler won the 1951 Nobel Prize in Medicine for his work on a human vaccine for what disease transmitted by mosquitoes? Malaria, probably. 51? Yeah. Is there a malaria vaccine? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd say so. Well done. Or could be yellow, yellow fever. Uh, yellow fever? Yeah. You think more likely to be yellow fever? I think so, yeah. Yellow fever. That's correct, yes. <laughs> right, ten points for this. What short word precedes landscape of Northwest Wales in the name of a UNESCO World Heritage Site inscribed in 2021? The word in question denotes a type of metamorphic rock. Open miles. Slate. Slate is correct. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on the novels of Sarah Waters. Which novel by Waters was adapted for BBC Two in 2002 by Andrew Davis with Rachel Sterling and Keeley Hawes playing the main characters Nan Astley and Kitty Butler? The adaptation notably included many of the book's explicit sex scenes. I think that's Tipping the Velvet, guys. Tipping, Tipping the, the Velvet. Velvet. By her. Tipping yeah. the Velvet. Tipping the Velvet. Correct. Adapted for television in 2011 by Paula Milne, which novel by Waters is set in London during and after World War II? and employs reverse chronology to tell the interconnected stories of five main characters. I don't know, man. Uh, the, the secret something? Keeper? The secret. The secret keeper. That's the a secret complete guess. The secret keeper. Oh, it's The Night Watch. Okay. Which novel by Waters was the basis for Park Chan-wook's 2016 film The Handmaiden? This adaptation relocated the story from Victorian Britain to Korea under Japanese rule. I don't think we know, do we? I don't know that. Pass. That was Fingersmith. Right, we're going to take a picture round now. For your picture starter, you will see a map showing the branches of a major museum group. For ten points, simply identify the group. Open McGregor. Imperial War Museum. No. Anyone want to buzz from Newcastle? Newcastle, Ingham. Tate Gallery. No, it's the Science Museum group, so we'll take the picture bonuses in a moment or two. Another starter question in the meantime. A chief source of gum Arabic, what thorny tree bears clusters of yellow or white flowers and is known in Australia as wattle? When preceding Avenue, it forms, quote, a cliché in British culture, a placeholder name from... You cancelling them. Acacia? Acacia is correct. Now, you recall you saw a map showing branches of the Science Museum group. For your picture bonuses, you're going to see three more maps showing British museums and their branches. Five points for each you can identify. Firstly... Mm. Um, Any ideas? Could that be the Tate? There's, there's two in London. No, there's, there's a Tate in Liverpool, so... It I'm not sure where the city is. Is that Stoke? Yeah, Stoke, definitely. But Can't think what's there. Um, what, what should we say? Um... Oh, there's one in Dundee as well. Uh, design. Design? No, that's the Victoria and Albert Museum. Secondly, these are branches of the National Museum of which institution? Oh, is it the uh, Navy? No, like the... Um, I don't know if it's the Navy or if it's just the boating, like... Uh... Um, RNLI? Uh, what do you think? Um, the British Navy? The Royal Navy? It is the Royal Navy, yes. And finally... There's one in Cornwall. That might Cornwall. Be. I think that could be the Tate. There's two in London and there's one in the Merseyside. So just the Tate Museum. It's the Tate, yeah. Uh, the Tate. The Tate is correct, yes. <laughs> Ten points for this. The essence, quote, of the modern state is that the universal should be linked with the complete freedom of particularity and the well-being of individuals. Born in 1770, <laughs> which... Open German... Miles. Hegel. Hegel is correct, yes. You get a set of bonuses on Prime Ministers. Who served as Home Secretary under Gladstone and Rosebery before becoming Chancellor and later Prime Minister? Oh, um, I don't know. Who do you think? Who's that? Like? I don't know. Um, became Chancellor and then Prime Minister, so later than, later than Gladstone. Well, Disraeli after Gladstone. Yeah, I think he's someone later than him. Yeah, um, who was a later... Are we getting into the 20th century? Or come on. Maybe. Arthur Balfour. No, it's Asquith. Okay. Which of the men who served as Home Secretary under Rasquith later became Prime Minister, having been Chancellor of the Exchequer for several years during the 1920s? 20s oh, Chancellor. Was, was Churchill Chancellor? Yeah, was it? Mm -hmm. Chamberlain? 
Could be Chamberlain, yeah. Um, I like that as well. Yeah, OK. Chamberlain. No, it was Churchill. Ah, sorry, guys. And finally, who served as Minister of Defence under Churchill and successively became Foreign Secretary, Chancellor and Prime Minister? Oh, that's... Um, what, well, Eden? That's Eden. Eden. Did he do all of those? I think during World War II he was... OK. Eden. No, it's Harold Macmillan. Ah, man. Ten points for this. Answer as soon as your name is called. What is the combined resistance in ohms of a 6-ohm resistor and a 12-ohm resistor wired together in parallel? Newcastle Speller. Eight. No. Open McGregor. Ten. No, it's four. Ten points for this. In Victor Erethe's 1973 Spanish film, The Spirit of the Beehive, what film is brought by a mobile cinema to the central village? Six-year-old... Newcastle Lamb. Frankenstein. Frankenstein is correct. <laughs> Your bonus is on West End musicals. Student Veronica dreams of popularity at Westerberg High School in which black comedy, staged in the West End in 2018, it embarked on its first UK national tour in 2021? It's the Heathers. The Heathers? Heathers is correct. The Bob Marley musical that opened in autumn 2021 has what four-word title, also that of a song co-written by Marley about taking action against oppression? Um, get Up, Stand Up? Get Up, Stand Up, yeah. Get Up, Stand Up? Get Up, Stand Up is correct. Andrew Lloyd Webber's musical Reimagining of Cinderella opened in the summer of 2021 with a script by which actress, director and Oscar-winning screenwriter? Emma Thompson, maybe? Uh, nominate Lamb. Um, Emma Thompson. No, it wasn't. It was Emerald Fennel. Ten points for this. Essox Lucius is a voracious freshwater fish with what single-word common name thought to be taken from the resemblance of its pointed jaw to an infantry weapon ah. widely used you can't for example, spell her. Pike. Pike is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on the mind. Referring to variations in mental functioning, what term did the autistic sociologist Judy Singer coin in 1998? Uh, neurodivergent? Yeah. yeah. Neurodivergent? Neurodiversity is what I was looking for, but we'll accept that. Born 1947, which US scientist created systems to reduce stress in human and animal populations? Her works include the autistic brain, thinking across the spectrum, and calling all minds. How to think and create like an inventor? I'm pretty sure that's Temple Grandin. Temple Grandin? Mary Temple Grandin is correct. Due to Hans Asperger's alleged collusion with the Third Reich, some people prefer to use the name of which Soviet psychiatrist? who first described infantile autism nearly two decades earlier. Does anyone know? Absolutely no idea. Uh, pass. It's Sukareva. Ten points for this. The battles of Morgarten in 1315 and Sempak in 1386 are key events in the history of which confederation, a product of the European balance of power, it has been attacked only once since 1499. Ah. Newcastle Lingham. Switzerland. Switzerland is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on modern art. In a work described as Hip Hop Meets Old Masters, a young man poses with a sword in Kehinde Wiley's work, Willem van Heethozen. This shares its title with a work by which Golden Age portraitist? Rembrandt, maybe? Yeah. Uh, Rembrandt. That's Franz House. Warrior by Jean-Michel Basquiat is thought to have been inspired by Ogun, a sword-wielding deity of which people? They are the largest ethnic group of southwestern Nigeria. Yoruba, uh, yeah. maybe? Yoruba. Yoruba is correct. Its rotund figures, including a muscular sword swallower, Circus People is a 2007 work by which Colombian artist? Do we know any Colombian artists? Yeah. I'll just guess a Spanish name. <laughs> Marquez. I don't know. Uh, pass. It's by Fernando Botero. Right, we're going to take a music round now. You're going to hear a piece of popular music. Ten points if you can name the group performing. Open Miles. Block Party. No? You can hear a little more Newcastle? One of you may buzz. I'm straight. Say, 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 oh, say, 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 oh, say, 
Newcastle Lab. Uh, the Yeah Yeah Yeahs. Correct. <laughs> that was Maps. So we heard there one of several songs sampled by Beyonce on the track Hold Up from her album Lemonade. Your bonuses are three more tracks sampled on songs from Lemonade with five points for each artist or group you can name. Firstly, this group sampled on the title track. Sounds a bit like Pink Floyd, but I wouldn't Sounds a bit like it, but it's, it's not, not quite right. Basically, that era. Was that Led Zeppelin? Go for Pink Floyd, because they did a lot of that. Uh, uh, Pink Floyd. Uh, that was King Crimson. It was that era, as you say. Secondly, this singer sampled on Six Inch. Bill Weathers. No, it's Isaac Hayes. Finally, this group sampled on All Night. It's the red up tree. Red up tree. You have no idea that's what I'm going to guess. Podcast? I honestly don't know. Bath open? Hot chocolate. <laughs> Uh, red Hot Chili Peppers. No, that's not uh, what I said. Outcast. Ten points for this. What three letters end words with these meanings? Firstly, an upstanding limestone block occurring in conjunction with fissures known as grikes. Secondly, a clue, suggestion or piece of advice, a deceptive blow and the official currency of Hungary. Open miles. INT. INT is correct. Well, you get three questions on British football clubs in European competitions. Who became the first British club to win a major European trophy when they beat Atletico Madrid 5-1 in the 1963 European Cup Winners' Cup final? Tottenham? Is it Tottenham? I don't know. Might be Tottenham. Tottenham Hotspur? It was, yes. Good one. The Lisbon Lions was a nickname given to which team when they became the first British club to win the European Cup, beating Inter Milan 2-1 in Portugal Celtic. in 1967? Celtic. Celtic is correct. After Celtic and Manchester United, what was the third British club to reach the European Cup final, losing in 1975 to Bayern Munich? It's going to be Forest or... No, Forest uh, was 79-80. Uh, it's not Liverpool. We got through in 75 then to the final. Um, can't think of us. Not been a Scottish team, I don't think. No, did he say British, did he? Yeah. Um, um, I really well, don't not, know. If it wasn't Liverpool, you'd know. Definitely, no, it's definitely Everton, not Liverpool. Man U, uh, Arsenal. Oh, could be Arsenal. OK, Arsenal. It was Leeds United. Uh, I didn't know. Ten points for this. Narrating in the first person, which title character of a historical novel of 1934 suspects he is about to be killed by poisoned mushrooms supplied to him on the orders of his wife Agrippina, who is also his niece? Newcastle Ingham. By Claudius? Correct. Claudius and Claudius the God. Right, you get a set of bonuses on solid geometry. Which of the five platonic solids has faces that are all pentagonal in shape? Dodecahedron. Dodecahedron. Correct. If a platonic solid has E edges, F faces and V vertices, what is the numerical value of F plus V minus E? Two. Two. Two is correct. For solids such as the cylinder, Klein bottle and torus, what is the numerical value of F plus V minus E? Get zero. Zero? Zero is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. A frequent cause of genetic diseases and resulting in the truncation of the protein product, what name is given to a point mutation that transforms an amino acid codon into a premature stop codon? Newcastle Key. Turner syndrome? No, it's not. Anyone else like to buzz? Open miles. Enzyme. 
Well, it's a nonsense mutation. Ten points for this. In February 2022, which country beat Egypt on penalty? <laughs> Open McGregor. Senegal. Senegal is correct. <laughs> right, these bonuses are on words relating to payment. Meaning money gained through a job or position. What word is thought to derive from a term meaning a payment to a miller for grinding corn? W wage, maybe, or, sal or salary? Salary. Or salary, 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 So it could be, could be wage, Corn, then? stipend. 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 Are we not saying salary? No, salary yeah, for salt, salt, isn't it? Okay. Well, I think um, it is. I well, think what would wage, wage be? Then? Wage, think OK, wage. It's emolument. OK. <laughs> from emolary to grind up. Borrowed unchanged from Latin, what word means a voluntary payment given to a person for services that are rendered nominally without charge? Expression. A pro bono, a pro bono. Is it a phrase or is it a word? It's a phrase, yes, yeah, so a pro bono. That sounds good to me. Yeah, yeah pro bono. Honorarium ah, is the word I was looking for. Formally applied to the salaries of teachers or clergy, what word appears in a term for a salaried full-time judge who sits in a magistrate's court? Stipend? Um, Probably, yeah. guess. OK. Stipend. Stipend is correct, or stipendiary is the magistrate for you know. We're going to now take a second picture round. For your picture starter, you are going to see a photograph of a film director. For ten points, simply name them. Newcastle Lamb. It's Chloe Zhao. It is Chloe Zhao. Well done. <laughs> your picture starter showed Chloe Zhao at the 2021 Academy Awards ceremony at which she won the best director for her film Nomadland. For your bonuses, you're going to see three film directors holding the top prizes from major film festivals in 2021. This time, I want the name of the festival, not the director. Firstly... Uh, is that Venice? Uh, is it just Venice? I think it's the, the Wind Lion, is, is, is it? Is uh, it the Venice. Venice. Correct. Audrey Divan with the Golden Lion for her film Le Vemont. Secondly... The International Film Festival? Maybe? San Sebastian. Hmm? San Sebastian. You should. Interna yeah. Uh, San Sebastian International Film Festival? Correct. Elena Grigor holding the golden shell for her debut feature, Blue Moon. And finally... Uh, uh, that's the, the Palm, palm Door, palm isn't it? Door, isn't can. It? Uh, the Palm Door. Can. Oh, the Can Door. Can. 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 Just can. Oh, the Can. 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 <laughs> can. <laughs> the Palm Door is a can, yes, you're yeah. right. <laughs> Julia Ducourneau with the Palm Door for Titan. Right, ten points for this. What two letters begin French words meaning sparrow, Windmill, wristwatch and sheep. Newcastle Speller. M-O. M-O is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on an ancient monument dating to the latter part of the second millennium BCE. The Abu Simbel temples are located near the border of which two countries? Is it Sudan? Is it Egypt, Egypt and Jordan? Is it Sudan? Or Abu Simbel is not in That's not Egypt and Sudan. I thought it was on the Nile. Nile. I think it is Egypt and Sudan. Oh, yeah. Egypt and Sudan, OK. Yeah. Egypt and Sudan? Correct. In the 1960s, an international project moved the temples to higher ground during the construction of a major dam named after which city of southern Egypt? Aswan. 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 Yeah. Aswan. Aswan is correct. The temples house huge statues of which long-lived pharaoh known as the Great? I simply need his regnal name. Ramesses. Yeah. Ramesses. Ramesses the second is correct. Yes. <laughs> Ten points for this. Say please, Mr. Elton, is a possible mnemonic for the four novels published during the lifetime of which author who died in 1817? Opa Miles. Jane Austen. Jane Austen is correct. <laughs> so you're going to get a set of bonuses on constellations, specifically those whose names have other meanings in English. Give each name from the definition. Firstly, for five points, the central or decisive point of interest, for example, in a legal case, I need a four-letter word. Crooks. Crooks. Crooks, yeah. Crooks. Crooks is correct. Next, the geological feature created by a meteor impact. Examples include Picard and Humboldt on the moon. Crater. 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 Yeah. Crater. Crater. Correct. In marine biology, finally, a sessile salinterate that is able to regenerate. Coral. Stonefish. Coral could be, yeah. Is that a yes. constellation? Don't know. Okay. Yeah. Coral. It's Hydra. Ten points for this. Name the traditional province of Ireland that contains none of the following counties. Monaghan, Sligo, Clare, Kerry, Galway, Antrim... Open Miles. Leinster? Leinster is correct, yes. 
Your bonuses are on world capitals. In each case, name the city from the description. All three answers have four letters. A city at the mouth of the river Daugava. It is on a similar latitude to Castle Bay on the Isle of Barra. Do we know where that is? I know where Barra is. Where's Barra? Oh, it's West Coast Scotland. So similar Maybe. latitude. So it could be Oslo. Yeah. Oslo? No, it's Riga. Okay. No. A city on the island of Viti Levu. It's on a similar latitude to Townsville in Australia. Viti Levu? So latitude to Australia, so it's got to be somewhere Viti. South America Lima. or. Um, could, be, could be Lima, I suppose, couldn't it? Yeah. Lima. Lima? No, it's Suva. A city on the Rimac River. It is on a similar latitude to Lobito in Angola. In... So it's like kind of halfway down. Keep isn't saying it? Lima. I don't know. Yeah, it could, yeah. could be Lima, I suppose. Yeah. 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 Okay, Lima. It is Lima, yeah. yes. Well done. <laughs> Ten points for this. What city is traditionally said to contain the relics of St Nicholas of Myra in the Basilica of St Nicola? A major port on the Adriatic coast, it is the capital of the Italian region of Apulia. Opa McGregor. Abruzzo. No, anyone want to buzz from Newcastle? Ah. Newcastle speller. Barry. Barry is correct, yes. <laughs> Three questions on medieval history for your bonuses. A son of John of Gorn, Cardinal Henry Beaufort, was a leading figure in the Regency government during the minority of which king? The Richard II, when he was a minor. Is that some John Gorm? Oh, maybe it was Edward V instead. Go with the first, the first tablet, uh, please. Richard II? No, it's Henry VI. Henry Beaufort's niece, Joan, married which king of Scotland at Southwark Cathedral in 1424? Oh, Malcolm III, maybe? Huh? Yeah. Malcolm III? No, it was James I. A descendant of Henry's brother, John, Margaret Beaufort, was the mother of which king? Henry the Seventh. Henry the Seventh? Henry the Seventh is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. Listen carefully. This question refers to geometry. What is the smallest set of three numbers following in this series? 16, 63, 65, 12, 35, 37, 8, 15, 17. And that was on. Newcastle University had 195, Open University have 115. The answer to that question, by the way, was 345. So, Newcastle, we shall look forward to seeing you in round two. And Open University, you may come back as one of the highest scoring losing teams. We don't know yet. I hope you can join us next time for another first round match. But until then, it's goodbye from the Open University. Bye. Bye. It's goodbye from Newcastle University. Goodbye. Bye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>